The de facto border between China and India is the Line of Actual Control, or LAC. Both countries have a difference in perception of their actual alignment at nearly 14 different points. This has emerged as an issue between the two nuclear-armed nations. On the 15th of June, these two militaries engaged in conflict in eastern Ladakh's Galwan Valley. It resulted in significant casualties. The Indian Army stated that 20 Army personnel were killed, while China didn't reveal its casualties. Indian as well as American intelligence indicated that it lost 35 to 45 personnel. China has been promising de-escalation at the Indochina border, but in reality, it doesn't walk the talk. Even after several rounds of discussion between military commanders and political leadership, things haven't cooled down. Many analysts have suggested that China's domestic issues, like an impending food crisis, are making President Xi Jinping create tensions at the borders so as to divert the attention of its population. In this situation, a conflict can't be ruled out and India is doing what it has to do, that is, strengthen its defenses. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how India is staring at China's face by deploying three deadly missiles at the Indochina border. Let's look at them one by one. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Nearby, meaning fearless, is a long-range, all-weather, subsonic cruise missile designed and developed in India by Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO. The missile can be launched from multiple platforms and is capable of carrying conventional and nuclear warheads. Nearby is powered by a solid rocket booster for takeoff and upon reaching the required velocity and height, a turbofan engine in the missile takes over for further propulsion. The missile is guided by an inertial navigation system and a radio altimeter for height determination. The missile has a Ring Laser Gyroscope RLG, based guidance, control and navigation system. It also has a Micro Electrochemical System MEMS, based inertial navigation system INS, along with GPS Navic system. The missile has a length of 6 meters, a width of 0.52 meters, a wingspan of 2.7 meters and weighs about 1500 kilograms or about 3307 pounds. It has a range of about 1000 kilometers or about 620 miles and is capable of delivering 24 different types of warheads up to 300 kilograms or 661 pounds. The missile is claimed to have sea skimming and loitering capability. In other words, it can go around a target and perform several maneuvers and then re-engage. It's also able to pick out a target and attack it among multiple targets. With two side wings, the missile is capable of flying at different altitudes ranging from 100 meters to 4 kilometers above the ground and can also fly at low altitudes, like low tree level, and avoid detection by enemy radar. The missile will be a major threat to Chinese military assets from long ranges. Akash is a medium-range mobile surface-to-air missile defense system developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, Ordnance Factories Board and Bharat Electronics BEL, in India. The missile system can target aircraft up to 30 kilometers or 18.6 miles away at altitudes up to 18,000 meters. A nuclear warhead could give the missile the capability to destroy both aircraft 
and warheads from ballistic missiles. An Akash battery comprises four 3D passive electronically scanned array radars and four launchers with three missiles each, all of which are interlinked. Each battery can track up to 64 targets and attack up to 12 of them. The missile has a 60 kilogram or 130 pound high explosive pre fragmented warhead with a proximity fuse. The Akash system is fully mobile and capable of protecting a moving convoy of vehicles. The launch platform has been integrated with both wheeled and tracked vehicles. While the Akash system has primarily been designed as an air defense SAM, it's also been tested in a missile defense role. The system provides air defense missile coverage for an area of 2,000 square kilometers. Most surface to air missiles, like US Patriot and the Russian S 300 series, use solid fuel rocket propulsion, but Akash utilizes an integrated ramjet rocket propulsion system which provides thrust for the missiles throughout most of its flight. The engine is on throughout the flight. Because of this, agility is excellent, resulting in the ability to hit maneuvering targets. The missile will be a threat to the People's Liberation Army Air Force aircraft, which may try to intrude into Indian airspace as well as take out Chinese drones and missiles. BrahMos is developed jointly by India's Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, and Russia's NPO Machinostroyenya. It is powered by a ramjet engine. BrahMos is currently considered to be one of the most deadly cruise missiles. BrahMos presents a challenge to any surface ship or land targets like fortified hangars. The reason is its unique features. One, it has a supersonic speed of Mach 3 or 1 km per second, providing very little time to intercept. 2. Brahmos uses a 300 kg or 660 pounds semi-armor piercing warhead and also has very high kinetic energy since kinetic energy is directly proportional to the square of velocity. Brahmos actually has about 9 times the kinetic energy of conventional subsonic missiles like Tomahawk. The combined destructive force of massive warhead and kinetic energy is lethal for even the biggest surface warships and bunkers. Brahmos has been known to break ships in half in several tests. 3. It can perform S maneuvers in the final stages of flight. The missile basically doesn't move in a straight line, making it very hard to intercept. 4. There are lots of redundancies in the guidance system right from the INS, GPS, GLONASS and GAGAN, making it hard to jam. 5. The accuracy of around 1 square meter makes it apt for a precision strike on high value targets. India was earlier not part of the Missile Technology Control Regime MTCR. Russia could not help or jointly develop a missile with a non-MTCR nation like India whose range is more than 300 kilometers or about 186 miles. But India has entered MTCR in 2016 and the latest Mark IV variant will be having a range of 800 kilometers or about 500 miles. Just a few days ago, on the 30th of September, India tested BrahMos, which successfully hit a target more than 400 kilometers or 250 miles away. Since the missile is almost impossible to intercept, it will be a major headache for Chinese military planners. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.